guys, I'm sorry. I am sorry. I apologize to y'all. I know you're like, Tro, why are you apologizing for? Because I led you guys astray. We just seen what happened to Mad Meerkat Finance. A lot of people been calling it out. I caught it out. But me being me, me just wanting to hold, hodl some bags. I hodl all the way until the end. Is this the end of Mad Meerkat Finance? We're going to get into that. But before we do, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And also, if I'm adding value and if you really mess with the kid, Go on and turn on those notifications so you can get the videos sent directly to your phone as soon as I drop these videos. So let's get into it. Mad Meerkat Finance. Is it a scam? Is it the end for Mad Meerkat Finance? I don't know, guys. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. But before we do that, too, I got to let you know, I am not a financial advisor. So if you... Uh, by mistake and ran across my Mad Meerkat Finance videos a while back. I let you know then I am not a financial advisor. Always consult with somebody before you invest in the crypto space because it, it is super risky, man. Crypto is super risky. Um, but I got to say the reward outweighs the risk. But at the same time, you never want to risk anything you can't lose or anything that helps you lose sleep at night. So, like I said, always consult with the financial advisor before investing in anything in the crypto space, especially in the bear markets, man. So, let's get straight into it. Let's talk about price, man. Let's go onto deck screen and see what MMF is talking about as far as price. So, boom, we can see we on MMF right now. We can see price is less than one cent, man. We are up three percent on a day but right now this is looking like a major rug pull not gonna lie to you it's not looking too shabby and a lot of people saying tro why are you saying mmf is at its end or why are you feeling like that it's because they recently dropped a new announcement talking about introducing the m chain and the m chain is pretty much mad meerkat's own liquidity chain or blockchain where they will have a new deflationary type of token and i'm not gonna lie this threw me back because all the projects mmf ever talked about they never came through with any of them and they stopped providing or having value for its customers after the liquidity pools and the aprs ran out so i just feel like this was another way to just just keep it going, man. Keep new liquidity in there so people can just pretty much drain the liquidity off the chain and we end up with a project with no value. So they introduced the M chain. I'm not going to read this entire article, but it's, they say New Frontier, the merge, the first blockchain on liquidity chain, deflationary POS with gas pay on transactions burnt. So this will be decent in my eyes if we were in a bull market i think this move would have been better in a bull market and also this move would have been better if mm finance actually took care of their product products and their projects and actually created value for the users now i believed in the mf team at first uh, when they first came out with the decks and they were talking about games but we haven't even heard about the gaming portion of this and we know chronos uh, fees on chronos are high but we i wanted to that was the one of the main reasons i got into the mad meerkat finance project is because one they were one of the top dexes on chronos and what made me stay was the idea of them having a crypto game in the future especially with all these nfts i thought it was going to be one of the biggest things to come to the chronos blockchain but then i started to see um, where all of their pretty much all of their projects end up just tanking like crazy. And if we go to let's say go on the Chronos blockchain, see what's a project? We can see M E T F. We can see M E T F, right? That's just one of them. One of the projects on the chain or on uh Mad Meerkat. And we can see it absolutely tank, man. Absolutely tank. It's just been on the floor since. Then we go to Mad. And Mad was one of the projects that, you know, um, that you can pretty much use for the game. 
And that's why I was very big on Mad. But we can see they left the utility and once all of the emissions from the tree houses, people just sold off all of their Mad. So we can see right now, Mad is at four cents. Mad was once upon a time around $25, man. So it's just looking like crazy right now, especially with the little utility that these projects bring. But I think they actually heard what the people had to say because finally, because I ain't gonna lie, not gonna lie to you, Mad Meerkat Finance and the people over Mad Meerkat Finance, they know how to make it seem like they're listening. But every time they would you know, hear opinions, they still will put out these weak projects with no value and it just goes to zero at the end. So this is what they said today after everybody was pretty much complaining. Because if you go on Twitter and look up or put the hashtag MMF or dollar sign MMF, it's just everybody is talking about like how MMF is a rug pull, how they're a scam, how they continue to jump from project to project. And I don't truly believe it's a scam, but I do believe they don't know where they are going. And a lot of people ask me, am I still holding MMF? I'm not going to lie to you right now. I sold all of my MML for Crow right now. It really just looking at where I can better work my money. But right now, the value on MML is really not good to me just because they're all over the place, man. They're all over the place. And one thing isn't getting truly developed. And I feel like, yes, you have to see what, what works and what doesn't. But in the crypto space, people forget how long it takes to actually build out businesses and businesses don't happen overnight. And I think a lot of people still are trying to find what their true product is, but at the same time, you gotta, if you got a loyal customer or not just customer, but a loyal community that's behind you and they wrote it all the way until the end, you want to have something actually playing out because I was really looking forward to this game. And I'm not sure if they still are even doing this game because every new announcement is like they're announcing something new. So this announcement was from the team. They said, hey, hi, all. We thank you for the important community dis discourse that has happened throughout the past week since our last major announcement. Based on the very opinions, our team has a multiple rounds of discussions how to to best proceed. So let's look at this medium. It be I ain't gonna lie, it's a lot of fluff in uh, Mad Meerkat Finance mediums. They, I mean, he's a good writer and all, but I just want to get to the good stuff. So these are the plans they rehash. So like I said, they was planning to introduce a new blockchain called the M Chain. Pretty much just another blockchain, and we know how hard it is to be a blockchain and actually get liquidity onto that blockchain. So that was one another reason I didn't agree with it, but. Anyway, these are the new plans. So we understand that our recently released roadmap has been met with polarity. There were those raving for it. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't see nobody raving for it. To be honest, I ain't. I mean, it gotta sound. They gotta make it sound good. You know, it probably was people in the Discord. You know, maxis and and things like that. But majority of people were not excited about it. And then we see there were others that thrashed them, and for good reason. Right. We have been actively observing and analyzing both ends of the spectrum. Here's where our team will focus on as our rehash plan. So although the development of our layer one chain has made significant progress, we will be putting it, this on hold and delay its intended deployment Q1 2023, respecting our community's wishes. So this, I guess there's something delaying it. I mean, that's cool, I guess. So point two. Instead, we will resume our initial developments for this bear market, such as deploying Mad Max for Kronos, transitioning the Kronos ecosystem into a real yield one. Main development was already complete, but we put on pause for on this deployment, given that there were certain gas issues on Kronos. So having confidence, one thing, but understanding the current circumstances is important as well. As it stands, it is clear we have lost faith of some of our community members in the course of these past few months due to our decisions and outcome that we are regretful and apologetic about. Are they really, though? Because we've been, y'all weren't trying to not to lose us. It was not, it wasn't like, you know, it's like that, you know, that, uh, that bad boyfriend or, or girlfriend or whatever. So, say for instance, if you that guy, and we all been that guy or girl, if ladies tuned in we all been that guy to some woman that we always say we're gonna change and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that and we end up not doing it we might have 
you know, had the best intentions in heart, but we didn't end up doing it at the end. And that made that person lose faith in us. And that is the same thing right now. We've been through the rough patches of MMF. We've been through the bad, the good, the ugly. But a lot of people stayed around. But when you continue just to throw Throw, it, throw stuff in your face and you claiming that, yeah, we mad and you want everybody just to go along with this. Uh, we're mad diggings and all of that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's cute in the bull market. That's very cute in a bull market. But in a bear market, we like, uh, are we mad? I mean, are, is, are we actually getting value or are we just being strung along? So they say they're apologetic about it. Well, who truly knows? But anyway... Our intentions were misconstrued in the launch of our previous article, where despite our best intentions, it appeared that we were still being seen as adversarial. All we have ever wanted to do was improve our, on our value proposition while simultaneously increase the choices and options of our existing products. Woodle, woodle, and like I said, it's a lot of fluff. It's, it just be so fluffy to me. It be sounding like I would like like I said in the bear market. Reading these uh, medium articles was cool. Like it had you excited. But in a, I mean, not in a bear market, in a bull rather, but in a bull market, in a bear market, reading these articles is like, uh, where's the good stuff? How are you providing value? How are you going to stick to your roadmap that you initially planned off? So going forward, we will be scrapping the L1 that we previously built and instead focus on the greater good. We will take the opportunity presented to us by the bear market to develop, to begin development of an L2 building on top of Kronos. This will be an optimistic roll-up implementation that will leverage on the security and speed of the existing Kronos mainnet. In doing so, we solve many important problems both for ourselves and for Crow fam. So, things they'll be able to do, we will be able to operate our core dApps at cheaper gas prices, allowing us to retain a higher degree of security while at the same time speeding up transactions. So, that's one thing. Then this will be done to the benefit of the Kronos ecosystem when we will have a cheaper and faster alternative that brings a positive effect to the main chain itself. Having a functioning L2 on one of the largest or the to be largest ecosystems in 2023-2024 will not only revive the DeFi plus NFT ecosystems, but also bring it to the next level. In 2022, we hit $5 billion. In 2024, we aim to hit a collective $20 billion total value lock. So, these are high things that they are putting on a pedestal, but they always, they say a lot of things and don't mean it, you know what I'm saying? So, I always take that with he, and I'm not saying that just to knock anybody, because like I said, I was a very firm supporter of MMF since the beginning, but once people keep showing you their true colors, it's like, uh, we can't, like me personally, it's hard for me to continue to rock, I'm gonna rock with you to the end, like I'm gonna rock with you, especially if I feel like, you know, you listening, you taking heed to what I'm saying. But once I see that you really don't, you just kind of nod me off like you you, you hearing me, but you're not listening to what I'm saying. That's when I got to stop rocking with you. I got to just cut all ties because you're not listening to the community. You're not listening to what they're saying. And I think this major drop was so drastic. Finally, finally, they said, OK, let's listen like this. Let's actually listen to what the community is saying. But it had to come to this for them to actually listen. And it's not I'm not even saying that they truly listen because this is just the article. That doesn't mean they put any product out or any new tech out to show for it. And now they're talking about an L2. But at first they were just talking about an L1. So they're going to have an L1 and an L2. So it's like, um, I don't know. But some key questions from the community. What was the timeline of M Chain? So everything was built and ready to be launched by the end of Q4, 2022. However, sentiments and logical discourse surrounding why should we not, we decided against it. We will focus on Q2 instead. Launch. We will instead focus on a Q2 2023 launch for a Chronos L2 optimistic rollup. Of course, we will be conducting a vote to see whether users wish for us to go down this road. We might be earlier, but we will leave the exact date of launch up for the community vote. So cool. Um, what was the plan tokenomics? Really don't care about the tokenomics of M chain. Not gonna lie, I don't even know why they asked that question. Were you going to abandon other chains and product projects? No, as we repeatedly mentioned, we do not intend to abandon any ecosystem projects. Well, how are y'all gonna incorporate the mad meerkats, the tree houses, and all of that? That's what I want. But 
As we as can be seen from the earlier sessions, we have simply provided a huge additional utility for users where they can opt to lock any of their MM ecosystem assets for a L1 token. This by itself would have provided a boost to the ecosystem. At the same time, with higher prices, we can focus on trimming down emissions and allow CAT token to be strong value accrual token where original MM ecosystem holders can gain an edge from. But it's just, I feel like this is all like. No, they just make it sound good. They, I feel like they were gonna, I want to say abandon, but pretty much so, cause I, like I said, even with the Polygon Mad Meerkat launch, like, why did y'all do that? You know what I'm saying? Why did y'all create a whole new project? Um, not even a whole new project. Y'all got the same project. It's not even cross chain. You know what I'm saying? Y'all should have did the same tokenomics, um, and made it and just made people made it interoperable where you can go from chronos to the polygon i'm not sure it's a bridge i'm not the tech guy you know but if it's not a bridge you should have found another chain where you can go from bridge to bridge and bridge over your mmf tokens that would have been the smarter move rather than trying to build a new token new token numbers you're putting a major supply out there and all of it is just going off emissions and you know it's going to be selling off so that's just my two cents. That's my video for today. Didn't want to make it too long. Just wanted to say, apologize to you guys for just the MMF crash. I'm not saying MMF is over, but it's not looking too shabby. They everywhere with it. I want to see them actually sit down and just think about what they want to do and think about what the community wants from them because it's a loyal or it was a loyal community. I feel like it was one of the loyalist communities on the Kronos ecosystem, and they pretty much destroyed it by continually to put out weak projects that has no true value, and they eventually go to zero. So, that's my video for today, Crypto Tro. If I added value, hit that like button, man. Hit that subscribe button. And if you really mess with the kid, hit that notification so you can get my video straight to your phone every time I drop, man. So, we out of here. Let's get it.